Hi guys, uh, it's me again. Uh, I say again because uh, I deleted the first video on this subject um, accidentally and so I'm making another one now and it'll be available in about uh, five minutes. Um, in the meantime, the idea is to create a drop shadow. This is particularly useful on your Facebook uh, business fan page um, where quite often um, most of us is, are now using the larger images, um, 600 by 200 pixels. Um, and my own feeling is that it just kind of gives a three-dimensional effect. So the first thing to do is to go to this uh, website, and it's, as I said, it's totally free, this. It'll take you about two minutes to do. Um, the website's called dropshadowswithaz.net, and um, I'll just put it up there for you. Dropshadows, see, with a Z there, dot net. Okay, um, go there, click on this Browse button, and that'll take you to the um, computer, your computer um files you just gotta look and I know that I've got a I think where is it my site here we go um, okay reputation guardian and uh, Facebook stuff here we go um, okay let's just do the test JPEG and open that and um, okay here we go it should show you a preview this is a preview now Actually, this test one, it seems, has already got a drop shadow on it. Um, but either way, what you would do is um, it, it will basically make the drop shadow for you. And then all you have to do on this site is click the download to orig original size. Um, and it'll show you a preview, or at least on a Mac it does. <laughs> I'm not too sure about Windows users. Um, and that's what it looks like there. So then you just uh, need to hop over to... Um, your um, Facebook and this is my, one of my Facebook and that that was the image for it and as you can see I've got one already here so um, I'm just going to show you essentially what you need to do now um, go down to edit page on your Facebook and on the side here look for this profile picture there you just need to choose a file and essentially what you'll be doing is uh, just exchanging your new file with the drop shadow and uh, for the old file which in, shouldn't really have a drop shadow here but uh, it does um, I'm not going to do that because obviously I, I don't want to exchange one for one uh, but just press on that and then you can go back to uh, view page and it'll take you back to your page and your drop shadow will be there so totally free and um, I've taken two minutes and 14 eight seconds to explain it to you um, I reckon that if you get you know given a minute or two extra uh, you should be able to do this in a lot less time now benefit of this obviously is that you can brand yourself you can you can make an image like this this has actually been made in Photoshop uh, we put a, a logo here we put the click to like button so that uh, people hopefully will uh, like us um, obviously the like is is uh, not there for me because I've already liked myself um, I guess <laughs> um, anyway um, and then you know you can make as I said this image here um, is 600 um, pixels high and then 200 across 200 is about all you can get you just have to be a little careful where you put your logo because as you can see that's what Google uses here I mean uh, Facebook I apologize um, uses here as your little uh, icon so you, you you know ideally this would be a little bit lower but I kind of like it just in the corner there and um, then that'll that's all that will show uh, yeah you probably keep seeing I've got a new uh, plugin here uh, which enhances so as soon as I go put my mouse over I get a big image over here somewhere and I can see what the image looks like anyway that's it for me um, I've got about 45 seconds left but I'm gonna cut this short now so you don't have to listen to me anymore okay I hope that helps and um, uh, please send me some feedback on my blog thank you very much goodbye for now